Welcome, 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 TBW Clips. I am Tyson. Today, today, Tyson Foods, they've laid off a bunch of American workers, moved them out, and I think they brought in a bunch of illegal aliens, illegal migrants, undocumented migrants, whichever phrase you want to use. Let's take a look on why what's going on here. All right, Mitra and Tyson laying off 1,200 workers after closing its pork factory in Perry, Iowa, only later to announce 52,000 jobs for migrants. The company's excuse, migrants are getting the jobs that Americans don't want. A human resources executive for the company telling Bloomberg. But they just got rid of the American workers that do want those jobs. So that doesn't make sense, right? They just want to pay less in the money. I don't know how that works. Do they have, they just pay them underneath the table? They're not on the payroll. I don't know how they make less money unless you're just paying them illegally. And if you are, how would they know they hired that many people? Oh, well. The migrants have been, quote, very loyal. They've been uprooted. And what they want is stability. What they want is a sense of belonging. Let's bring in Fox and Friends Weekend co-host Pete Hegseth. Pete, good to see you. Yes. But again, lower wages, taking American jobs. This was the reason why Democrats were opposed to illegal immigration 10, 15, 25 years ago. But here it plays out. So they were against it because they were taking jobs away from Americans. Now they're for it. I don't understand. This cost Americans a lot. That's true. It was also the reason why... Uh, the Chamber of Commerce crowd of the Republican Party was so reluctant to Donald Trump back in 2015, 2016, He's dependent on importing cheap labor. He said, we're going to build that wall. We're going to stop this. I'm going to put Americans first. Wages will rise as a result. And now you've got an inversion of that with the Democrat Party saying, come on in. And then you, we've heard glimpses of it, right, when Nancy Pelosi said, who else, who else is going to pick our crops, right? And that's their mindset. And the businesses are happy to do it when there's no E-Verifier. Now, see, if you had less taxes on those corporations, I think they would be more inclined to hire and pay more for their employees. Uh, like, why are they looking for cheap labor so they can make more money, right? So if they have, if they have to pay less in taxes, then I think they would not look so much for the cheap labor because they will be able to handle it. They will be able to pay for it. Fire, there's no consequences. And so they, yeah, cheaper labor for this business to produce a product. And it's not an easy job. You know, people that do those jobs, they're dirty, they're tough, but um, Americans should have the first shot and they should have a good shot at a good wage. And it, it's so dismissive. crazy so there you have it um you guys let me know what you guys think down in the comments um what do you guys think about the hiring for cheaper labor i mean i understand businesses want uh to pay as less as possible to make as much money to get as much profits that's the whole point of businesses right to make the most profits how do you do it and if you have high taxes, you're going to try to get away and sneak in different things in different ways uh, to make as much as you can. So um, there you go. You guys let me know what you guys think now in the comments about this. I uh, appreciate you guys so much for tuning in and you guys have a great day.